Have any countries that are currently in lockdown published a detailed long-term exit plan? Currently almost every country around the world is in a state of lockdown. However all of them seem to be in a state of indefinite lockdown, with no long-term plan published anywhere. Has any country already created such a plan, with detailed milestones on what their exit strategy would look like? Given that every day of lockdown costs billions of dollars, it seems that such a plan should be readily available in at least one country or territory. I know that China executed such a plan already, so they're officially out of lockdown state, but haven't heard anything from other countries. While discussions on lifting restrictions have already been started here in Germany they were initiated by opposition parties, there is no sane politician that would announce a concrete plan. Even the opposition politicians initiating the debate do not want to name any dates and rather use a vague as early as possible. Nobody knows when the peak will be reached. At the moment numbers are still increasing although slower than before. Nobody knows the real number of infections. As test kits are scarce everywhere, with very few exceptions, only symptomatic cases are tested. However, the number of unknown cases is decisive for future projects and therefore how restrictions can be lifted. A high number of unknown cases would mean that the lethality is a lot lower than suspected and that a lot more people are already immune to new infections. Antibody tests are about to be bring more information to this and give a better base for planning. Politicians that announce lifting of the restrictions to a certain date would be held to their promises. If they fail to deliver, they might not survive the next election. Lifting restrictions is likely to cause a second wave of infections. Reintroducing harsh restrictions just two months after lifting them is hurting popularity even more. It is also to expect that the acceptance of reintroduced restrictions might be less than it is at the moment. Sometimes the situation depends on the neighbor's situation. Opening the borders is only feasible if it does not cause the import of new infections. This will be hard to balance for tourism-dependent countries like Austria and Switzerland. Situations can be very different in various regions of the same country. A general plan on lifting restrictions will either be too soft or too hard. Furthermore, restrictions are not binary. When the situation improves, restrictions will likely be lifted gradually. So we probably might see the toy store open rather soon but discos will take more time. There is a lot of smaller steps that can be taken in between, like lifting restrictions if you wear a mask in public. So when people are talking about not having normal life for 12 months, this applies to things like big rock concerts, sports games, etc. and less to being locked in your apartment. Note that this does not mean that there are no plans. It is just not advisable to announce any exit plan while you are not sure where on the curve the country is. Also, some details actually have dates. For example, normally the final school exams in Germany would be at this time. They have been postponed to May or June, depending on where you live. Although keeping a 2 meters distance between students during the exam is probably something the school might consider handy winking face. Update. Denmark has announced they may gradually lift lockdown after Easter. If we over the next two weeks across Easter keep standing together by staying apart, and if the numbers remain stable for the next two weeks, then the government will begin a gradual, quiet and controlled opening of our society again, at the other side of Easter, she said. However, this is of course still pretty vague on the details and by no definition a long-term exit plan. She said she hoped to be able to present a plan for the first phase of the reopening by the end of this week after consultation with the other parties in government.